Welcome to my quarantine fish room. The mill! Can these ones touch air? Yeah. Just, I try not to have them touch too much air. Because I'd rather... Are you putting that water into the tank then? Mm hmm You told her it a half an hour. We're almost done. But You don't think I can dawdle? Oh no, you're not going to because I'm going to finish feeding the brine shrimp and then we out of here. Why don't you want to dawdle? So I want to go home. Why? Because oh, because I'm there. I, well, I wasn't really going to go home. I was going to go to Shauna's. She's making me brownies. Brownie, and she took you out for lunch? Yeah. She did pretty good today. You got a hearty happy birthday out of your father? I got free Tim Hortons this morning. Living large. Living the life. Living the dream. You're reasonable. That one's kind of cool. You guys can go on this table. Who's? This table. Oh yeah, there's nobody in any of those three. Or at least nobody I've been feeding. Well, there's a watchman in here. In the first one, yeah. but not in those three, I said. No, because they had uh, the other fish that I moved. Oh, and yeah, you asked me about the mandarin. There's a female underneath. There's a female underneath? Okay. Good. Oh yeah, we're starting to ship fish. We should do a video saying we're going to start to ship fish. Okay. Well, that way it'll be a video. We're going to ship fish? Well, it's in this video. This will be our shipping thing. Yeah, basically we have everything set up with FedEx. We have permission to ship water. So it's none of that. we got to hide it. They know exactly what we're shipping. <coughs> and, uh, <coughs> anywhere in Canada, we don't plan on doing states yet. Although I have a question for you guys, you know, why don't I check the states? Plus, we buy our fish in the states. We want to buy our fish. Well, send them from the states to Canada, and Canada to the states, and the states to Canada, and then. Yeah, it just gets done, done redundant. Done redundant? Done redundant. That's a new way of saying redundant. It's a redundant way of saying redundant? A redundant way of saying redundant. Where did I put the branch shrimp? Uh oh. Redundant? Redundant? Redundant. Redundant. Where did I put the brine shrimp? I saw it. So did I. Lost it already. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Why is this all full of water? Uh, above here. Full of water there, full of water there. Because they washed the uh, hearse. Oh, I thought maybe it was from the washing machine. Did you take the tomato out of here? Yep. No, he's in there still. I took one. I took the tomato out of that one. It's over there. Well, that's why I asked out of here. Customer went out and bought a purple tang and brought it to us to quarantine because they were sick and tired of us not bringing one in. Ooh. The purple tang guy. Oh, yeah. Well, I saw Andy today. Really? He's got a, an excellent proposition. What is it? He's going to give me one of his raceways. And I get to set it up and use it. And then when he sets up his shop again, he wants it back full of AIDS and conditioned water. The thing is, it's now June 25th. Yeah. He wants to set up in September. So there's no point. 
Because no. where would you put a raceway depending on what size it is? Well, it's one of those big, big sets. The ones that he sold to Pat? Or did he keep them? Well, Star's got one trying to sell it for him, but nobody will buy it because she wants too much money. Yeah. I said, like, well, I didn't say it to him, but you know me, I'm polite. As am I. But I said to myself, like, <coughs> for, for no benefit. Yeah. I got lots of time. I could have sold it to you. And where would you put it anyways? We don't need it. Well, I don't need it. That's the other part. Well, I don't need it. Is this water in the jug, water that you're adding to the purple? Yes. And are you acclimating these? Yes, we can acclimate them as we fit. No, I mean the... Recordia. I haven't did anything with them yet. Okay, well I put water in, I don't know if they need to be acclimated the same way. Oh yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, so they can touch air because they're anemones. Do you have an aversion to adding fresh water? No. It's bad. It scares me. It makes me tremble. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you don't add fresh water to anything. That tank has been at that water level since I got back, meaning that you hadn't added water to it. Right. Yes, Father? I'm unfamiliar with the rules. Father is never wrong. Yes. And if you ever think Father is wrong, just think back to rule number one. Father is okay then. Never wrong. Godlike in his magnificence. Awe inspiring. Not at all. Uh, excuse me, I seem to recall a younger version of you that was pretty uh, awestruck. I was young and foolish. <laughs> You're still foolish. So Friday, I'm going to come and feed the fish in the morning, quickly, and then I'm going out with mom for my birthday. We're going to go to the aquarium. I should go get my phone and take a picture of them. Should I end the video now? Yeah, might as well. Bye! Yeah. Bye! Oh, he's got a sore on his side. <laughs>